Flea, Wikipedia Audio Ceratophilomorpha, Hystricopsilomorpha, Pulicomorpha, Pygopsilomorpha Aphanoptera Fleas are small flightless insects that form the order Siphonoptera. As external parasites of mammals and birds, they live by consuming the blood of their hosts. Adults are up to about 3 mm long and usually brown. Bodies flattened sideways enable them to move through their host's fur or feathers, strong claws prevent them from being dislodged. They lack wings, and have mouth parts adapted for piercing skin and sucking blood and hind legs adapted for jumping. The latter enable them to leap a distance of some 50 times their body length, a feat second only to jumps made by frog hoppers. Larvae are worm-like with no limbs, they have chewing mouth parts and feed on organic debris. Morphology and Behavior Over 2,500 species of fleas have been described worldwide. The Siphonoptera are most closely related to the snow scorpion flies, placing them within the endoptery god insect order Mycoptera. Fleas arose in the early Cretaceous, most likely as ectoparasites of mammals, before moving on to other groups including birds. Each species of flea is more or less a specialist on its host animal species, many species never breed on any other host, though some are less selective. Some families of fleas are exclusive to a single host group, for example, the Malacosilidae are found only on armadillos, the Ishnosilidae only on bats, and the Chimeropsilidae only on elephant shrews. The oriental rat flea, Xenocilla chiapi, is a vector of Yersinia pestis, the bacterium which causes bubonic plague. The disease was spread by rodents such as the black rat, which were bitten by fleas that then infected humans. Major outbreaks included the Plague of Justinian and the Black Death, both of which killed a sizable fraction of the world's population. Fleas appear in human culture in such diverse forms as flea circuses, poems like John Donne's Erotic the Flea, works of music such as by Modest Mussorgsky, and a film by Charlie Chaplin. Fleas are wingless insects. 1 16th to 1 slash 8 inch long, that are agile, usually dark colored, with a proboscis, or stylet, adapted to feeding by piercing the skin and sucking their host's blood through their epipharynx. Flea legs end in strong claws that are designed to grasp a host. Unlike other insects, Fleas do not possess compound eyes but instead only have simple eye spots with a single biconvex lens, some species lack eyes altogether. Their bodies are laterally compressed, permitting easy movement through the hairs or feathers on the host's body. The flea body is covered with hard plates called sclerites. These sclerites are covered with many hairs and short spines directed backward which also assist its movements on the host. The tough body is able to withstand great pressure, likely an adaptation to survive attempts to eliminate them by scratching. Fleas lay tiny, white, oval eggs. The larvae are small and pale, have bristles covering their worm-like bodies, lack eyes, and have mouth parts adapted to chewing. The larvae feed on organic matter, especially the feces of mature fleas, which contain dried blood. Adults feed only on fresh blood. Their legs are long, the hind pair well adapted for jumping, a flea can jump vertically up to 7 in and horizontally up to 13 in, making the flea one of the best jumpers of all known animals, second only to the frog hopper. The flea jump is so rapid and forceful that it exceeds the capabilities of muscle, and instead of relying on direct muscle power, 
Fleas store muscle energy in a pad of the elastic protein named resilin before releasing it rapidly. Immediately before the jump, muscles contract and deform the resilin pad, slowly storing energy which can then be released extremely rapidly to power leg extension for propulsion. To prevent premature release of energy or motions of the leg, the flea employs a catch mechanism. Early in the jump, the tendon of the primary jumping muscle passes slightly behind the coxitrochanter joint, generating a torque which holds the joint closed with the leg close to the body. To trigger jumping, another muscle pulls the tendon forward until it passes the joint axis, generating the opposite torque to extend the leg and power the jump by release of stored energy. The actual takeoff has been shown by high-speed video to be from the tibiae and tarsi rather than from the trochantera. Fleas are hollow metabolous insects, going through the four life cycle stages of egg, larva, pupa, and imago. In most species, neither female nor male fleas are fully mature when they first emerge but must feed on blood before they become capable of reproduction. The first blood meal triggers the maturation of the ovaries in females and the dissolution of the testicular plug in males and copulation soon follows. Some species breed all year round while others synchronize their activities with their host's life cycles or with local environmental factors and climatic conditions. Flea populations consist of roughly 50% eggs, 35% larvae, 10% pupae, and 5% adults. The number of eggs laid depends on species with batch sizes ranging from two to several dozen. The total number of eggs produced in a female's lifetime varies from around 100 to several thousand. In some species, the flea lives in the nest or burrow and the eggs are deposited on the substrate, but in others, the eggs are laid on the host itself and can easily fall off onto the ground. Because of this, Areas where the host rests and sleeps become one of the primary habitats of eggs and developing larvae. The eggs take around two days to two weeks to hatch. Experiments have shown that fleas lay more eggs on hosts which have limited food intakes, and that eggs and larvae survive better under these conditions, perhaps because the host's immune system is compromised. Jumping Flea larvae emerge from the eggs to feed on any available organic material such as dead insects, feces, conspecific eggs, and vegetable matter. In laboratory studies, some dietary diversity seems necessary for proper larval development. Blood-only diets allow only 12% of larvae to mature whereas blood and yeast or dog chow diets allow almost all larvae to mature. Another study also showed that 90% of larvae matured into adults when the diet included non-viable eggs. They are blind and avoid sunlight, keeping to dark, humid places such as sand or soil, cracks and crevices, under carpets and in bedding. Given an adequate supply of food, Larvae pupate and weave silken cocoons after three larval stages. Within the cocoon, the larva molts for a final time and undergoes metamorphosis into the adult form. This can take just four days, but may take much longer under adverse conditions, and there follows a variable length stage during which the pre-emergent adult awaits a suitable opportunity to emerge. Trigger factors for emergence include vibrations, heat, and increased levels of carbon dioxide, all of which stimuli may indicate the presence of a suitable host. Large numbers of pre-emergent fleas may be present in otherwise flea-free environments, and the introduction of a suitable host may trigger a mass emergence. Once the flea reaches adulthood, its primary goal is to find blood and then to reproduce. Female fleas can lay 5,000 or more eggs over their life, 
permitting rapid increase in numbers. Generally speaking, an adult flea only lives for two or three months. Without a host to provide a blood meal, a flea's life can be as short as a few days. Under ideal conditions of temperature, food supply, and humidity, adult fleas can live for up to a year and a half. Completely developed adult fleas can live for several months without eating, so long as they do not emerge from their puparia. Optimum temperatures for the flea's life cycle are 21 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius and optimum humidity is 70%. Adult female rabbit fleas, Spilocillus cuniculi, can detect the changing levels of cortisol and corticosterone hormones in the rabbit's blood that indicate it is getting close to giving birth. This triggers sexual maturity in the fleas and they start producing eggs. As soon as the baby rabbits are born, the fleas make their way down to them and once on board they start feeding, mating, and laying eggs. After 12 days, the adult fleas make their way back to the mother. They complete this mini-migration every time she gives birth. Between 1735 and 1758, the Swedish naturalist Carl Linnaeus first classified insects, doing so on the basis of their wing structure. One of the seven orders into which he divided them was Aptera, meaning wingless, a group in which as well as fleas, he included spiders, wood lice, and myriapods. It wasn't until 1810 that the French zoologist Pierre-André Latrail reclassified the insects on the basis of their mouth parts as well as their wings, splitting Aptera into Thesanura, Anapleura, and Siphonaptera, at the same time separating off the arachnids and crustaceans into their own subphyla. The group's name, Siphonaptera, is zoological Latin from the Greek siphon and aptera. Fleas are related to the diptera and the mycoptera as shown in the cladogram, based on a 2008 analysis of four loci for 128 flea taxa from around the world. The boridae are the sister clade to the siphonaptera. Diptera Life cycle and development Egg Mycoptera Larva Pupa Adult Taxonomy and phylogeny Relationship with host Boridae Siphonaptera Trichoptera Direct effects of bites Lepidoptera Hymenoptera Fossils of wingless pre-fleas with siphonate mouthparts from the Middle Jurassic to Early Cretaceous have been found in northeastern China. These belong to three proposed extinct families, the Pseudopulosidae, the Sauroptheridae, and the Terwiniidae. The last common ancestor of modern Siphonaptera separated from the Mycoptera during the Early Cretaceous. Most flea families formed after the end of the Cretaceous. Fleas probably arose in the southern continental area of Gondwana, and migrated rapidly northwards from there. They most likely evolved with mammal hosts, only later moving to birds. Siphonaptera is a relatively small order of insects, members of the order undergo complete metamorphosis and are secondarily wingless. In 2005, Medvedev listed 2,005 species in 242 genera, and despite subsequent descriptions of new species, bringing the total up to around 2,500 species, this is the most complete database available. The order is divided into four infra-orders and 18 families. Some families are exclusive to a single host group. These include the Malacosilidae, Ishnosilidae, and Chimeropsilidae. Many of the known species are little studied. 
Some 600 species are known from a single record from a single host. Over 94% of species are associated with mammalian hosts, and only about 3% of species can be considered to be specific parasites of birds. The fleas on birds are thought to have originated from mammalian fleas, at least 16 separate groups of fleas switched to avian hosts during the evolutionary history of the Siphonoptera. Occurrences of fleas on reptiles is accidental, and fleas have been known to feed on the hemolymph of ticks. Flea phylogeny was long neglected, the discovery of homologies with the parts of other insects being made difficult by their extreme specialization. Whiting and colleagues prepared a detailed molecular phylogeny in 2008, with the basic structure shown in the cladogram. The tungidae, including the harmful chigo flea or jigger, is sister to the rest of the siphonoptera. Boridae As a vector Tungidae Pygopsilomorpha Relationship with humans Macropsilidae, Coptopsilidae, Neotypha seratini, Tenophthalmini, Deratopsilini. In literature and art, Flea circuses, Carriers of plague, Stephanocercidae, Cladinc, Rapalocilidae, Tenophthalmidae, Hystricopsilidae. Chimeropsilidae, Pulicidae, Ceratophilomorpha. Fleas feed on a wide variety of warm blooded vertebrates, including humans, dogs, cats, rabbits, squirrels, ferrets, rats, mice, and birds. Fleas normally specialize in one host species or group of species but can often feed but not reproduce on other species. Ceratophilus gallini affects poultry as well as wild birds. As well as the degree of relatedness of a potential host to the flea's original host, it has been shown that avian fleas that exploit a range of hosts, only parasitis species with low immune responses. In general, Host specificity decreases as the size of the host species decreases. Another factor is the opportunities available to the flea to change host species, this is smaller in colonially nesting birds, where the flea may never encounter another species, than it is in solitary nesting birds. A large, long-lived host provides a stable environment that favors host-specific parasites. One theory of human hairlessness is that the loss of hair helped humans to reduce their burden of fleas and other ectoparasites. In many species, fleas are principally a nuisance to their hosts, causing an itching sensation which in turn causes the host to try to remove the pest by biting, pecking, or scratching. Fleas are not simply a source of annoyance, however. Flea bites cause a slightly raised, swollen itching spot to form, this has a single puncture point at the center, like a mosquito bite, 126 besides this, the eczematous itchy skin disease flea allergy dermatitis is common in many host species, including dogs and cats. The bites often appear in clusters or lines of two bites, and can remain itchy and inflamed for up to several weeks afterwards. Fleas can lead to hair loss as a result of frequent scratching and biting by the animal, and can cause anemia in extreme cases. 126. Fleas are vectors for viral, bacterial, and rickettsial diseases of humans and other animals, as well as of protozoan and helminth parasites. Bacterial diseases carried by fleas include murine or endemic typhus, 124 and bubonic plague. Fleas can transmit Rickettsia typhi, Rickettsia felis, and Bartonella hensley, and the myxomatosis virus, 
73 They can carry hymenol piasis tapeworms and trypanosome protozoans. 74 The chigo flea or jigger causes the disease tongue yashas, a major public health problem around the world. Fleas that specialize as parasites on specific mammals may use other mammals as hosts, thus, humans may be bitten by cat and dog fleas. Fleas have appeared in poetry, literature, music, and art. These include Robert Hooke's drawing of a flea under the microscope in his pioneering book Micrographia published in 1665, poems by Dunn and Jonathan Swift, works of music by Giorgio Federico Gadini and Modest Mussorgsky, a play by Georges Fado, a film by Charlie Chaplin, and paintings by artists such as Giuseppe Crespi, Giovanni Battista Piazzetta, and Georges de la Tour. John Donne's erotic metaphysical poem The Flea, published in 1633 after his death, uses the conceit of a flea, which has sucked blood from the male speaker and his female lover, as an extended metaphor for their sexual relationship. The speaker tries to convince a lady to sleep with him, arguing that if the mingling of their blood in the flea is innocent, then sex would be also. Flea circuses provided entertainment to 19th century audiences. These circuses, extremely popular in Europe from 1830 onwards, featured fleas dressed as humans or towing miniature carts, chariots, rollers or cannon. These devices were originally made by watchmakers or jewelers to show off their skill at miniaturization. A ringmaster called a professor accompanied their performance with a rapid circus patter. Oriental rat fleas, Xenocilla chiapi, can carry the Cocobacillus yersinia pestis. The infected fleas feed on rodent vectors of this bacterium such as the black rat, ratus ratus, and then infect human populations with the plague, as has happened repeatedly from ancient times, as in the plague of Justinian in 541-542. Outbreaks killed up to 200 million people across Europe between 1346 and 1671. The Black Death pandemic between 1346 and 1353 likely killed over a third of the population of Europe. Because fleas carry plague, they have seen service as a biological weapon. During World War II, the Japanese army dropped fleas infested with Y. pestis in China. The bubonic and septicemic plagues are the most probable form of the plague that would spread as a result of a bioterrorism attack that used fleas as a vector. The banker Charles Rothschild devoted much of his time to entomology, creating a large collection of fleas now in the Rothschild Collection at the Natural History Museum, London. He discovered and named the plague vector flea, Xenocilla chiapi also known as the Oriental Rat Flea, in 1903. Using what was probably the world's most complete collection of fleas of about 260,000 specimens, he described around 500 species and subspecies of Siphonaptera. He was followed in this interest by his daughter Miriam Rothschild, who helped to catalogue his enormous collection of the insects in seven volumes. Fleas have a significant economic impact. In America alone, approximately $2.8 billion is spent annually on flea-related veterinary bills and another $1.6 billion annually for flea treatment with pet groomers. $4 billion is spent annually for prescription flea treatment and $348 million for flea pest control. The Rothschild Collection Flea Treatments <laughs>